to another episode of Marvel Card Collecting and Investing with me, Ginger Man Cards. Hope you're super well. Happy Halloween for yesterday. Hope you went trick or treating. Doesn't matter if you're a kid or not. Come on. And uh, <laughs> hope you got some candy or sweets, as we call it. Here. And uh, yeah, it's t- time of the week. Ginger Man's Marvel Card top 10 sales from the previous week. Some big things popping left, right, and center. Uh, pff, Marvel Cards in general heating up <laughs> you know i say it every week but it it is it's a fact it's a fact um so yeah let's get into it i should just say this is going to be a a brief top 10 video i wanted to make sure i did something uh for you guys as um i find out whether i get a job or not today so uh let's get into it in at number 10 2020 platinum portrait from the x-men metal set crazy $2,375 for the Wolverine, 46 bids, au- auction on ComC. Crazy price. I talked about these cards before and uh, the importance of them. One in every 600 packs. In terms of character rods, you're talking one in every, you know, you're talking thousands. I don't know the exact number, but very scarce. Only 25 you can collect of the uh, Platinum Portraits. They're not serial numbered. But again, as I said, one in every 600 packs, <laughs> they're very scarce. And the odds are getting a good character like this, top tier character like Wolverine, are very, very scarce, hence the price. But a couple of factors to consider. Sports card world, look at what's happened with PMGs. They've, you know, sports card guys have <laughs> definitely taken PMGs under, under their wing. You can't deny that. That's what's happened. Uh, good, bad or, you know, indifferent, that's what's happened. Um, but yeah, to give you some context, you can get... Um, basketball well famous basketball players uh, in platinum portraits so for example for further context a michael jordan bds 99 slab from 1997 sold for 14,900 in uh, mid september so crazy crazy amount of money for one card but that's just to give you some context there are hockey players as well that are selling for a lot of money too so this is why this card in particular you can see it is widely well known the same way as PMGs are. So uh, Deadpool is the other card I wanted to show, show you. So 1,713, 36 bids. <sighs> That's a lot of money. Interesting though to see the, the disparity between probably you know a top five character and then you know Deadpool was definitely up there, but probably not quite where Wolverine is. And again, this is all subjective. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying who's who, but um, that's just what's happened. You can tell that's the market. So, yeah, awesome to look at. I thought they were very noteworthy, so I put them in the top ten this week. Uh, in at number eight, nine, nine. Let's go eight. Uh, 1979 Marvel Wimpy Superheroes sticker. Uh, it's a Miss Marvel PSA ten. Uh, the pop reports are about around the 100 mark. Not many of these around. There's only three of these graded that are 10, I believe, from uh, what I looked at. Best offer accepted of $300. And again, in the 70s, can you imagine getting a burger and uh, getting some of these stickers with your burger? And then people have kept them for this long to get a PSA 10? My God, that's incredible. It never ceases to amaze me, something this old. And there are older things, which I'm going to show you next, <laughs> that, again, just blows my mind. But awesome card to look at. Uh, you can see, you can buy you can buy them pretty cheap, to be fair. Um, the sets, again, if, are they going to be in good condition? <laughs> no, probably not. You can see there, a lot of them are yellow, um, naturally from <laughs> the, the age. But you can see there, the Wimpy and the Burger. And <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, PSA 10, $300 best offer accepted. Uh, in at number seven, even older card, 1967 Marvel Superhero sticker, Spider-Man PSA 8, Pop 1. Um, and they took a best offer of $600, which I think is uh, pretty cool. Blank on the back, <laughs> there's a massive line on it. Um, but yeah, these we've talked about stickers before. Uh, as I said in the previous uh, top 10, uh, they're going to have a moment. There's going to be more. People are going to start finding those really rare things that you just cannot find anywhere. It's already started happening. And uh, yeah, good buys. This isn't a PSA 8, and that's over 600. So let me show you the pop report. So Spider-Man, 
card number or well, sticker number 29. Uh, you can see there, seven graded, one at PSA eight, 322 cards. Super interesting. So yeah, in at number six, I thought this was a mad, mad sealed box of 1995 Marvel Masterpieces Rack Pack box. Factory sealed. Um, oh, beautiful. Stunning artwork on this set. Uh, $3.49 a pack when it came out. Oh, can, like, what the heck? Ah, oh, Jesus. Crazy. But beautiful set. I think about 1996 Marvel Masterpieces and the prices those packs and boxes go for nowadays. Wow. These are only going to follow suit. So absolutely up there with the 96 and $1,676 for this. Crazy money. But yeah, sealed wax in general, definitely following a trend line of an upward trajectory. And I'm talking in a general sense. Some of the newer sets have stayed pretty much similar, but I'm talking about the older sets in particular. Um, you, you can see that. Um, in at number five or six, I don't know anymore. Let's go with it. <laughs> this is from the uh, 2013 Fleer Retro. Um, they put UD Marvel, okay, uh, from Fleer Retro. Again, this is a really cool insert. It's an acetate insert. Uh, I love, all the inserts from 2013 are just stunning. They get a lot of attention. Like the Marvel, the, the oh, I don't know, they're just really nice. I don't know where I'm going with this, but Thor acetate went for $152. There were a number that uh, that got listed and sold all within the 100, 160 mark, the characters. Um, but yeah, that's just an acetate. That, again, is it a rare card? I mean, yeah, ish. Um, but I love stuff like this. It's very much like the Palladiums that you get from the 2020 X-Men Metal set. And uh, you can see they're flying as well. People buying left, right and centre to collect whole sets. Uh, in a number five, I believe. This is a auto. And again, I've talked about the importance of autographs. In Marvel cards, um, it's going to keep happening. I was thinking the other day, I uh, I would very much love, <laughs> I would very much love a Tom Hardy auto, but whether that actually uh, is possible, I don't think so. But this is a Chris Hemsworth and a Tom Hiddleston uh, autograph, autograph card, pack pulled auto. You can see on there, uh, so Loki and Thor in their respective characters. Uh, really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, from Upper Deck 2013 set. Pretty cool though, isn't it? So yeah, so they took a best offer of $1,200, uh, which again, that's not too bad considering. Um, but yeah, Black Diamond again, I'll keep talking about this. Uh, there's always a number of sales for autos selling every single week without fail in terms of relics as well. Um, yeah. Always black diamond sales consistently happening every week. Uh, in at number four, this is an awesome, awesome card. Uh, poor printing plate either, sorry. This is a Cyclops 2020 Marvel Masterpieces, a level three. What if? Um, it's just a stunning card. I keep calling it a card. I, I, it's a printing plate, so it's metal. But yeah, you know what I mean. But look at that. That's just wicked, isn't it? Really, really cool. Printing plate still underrated. Seven hundred thirty-five dollars uh, for this Cyclops card. <laughs> again, ComC Auctions killing it again. Forty-three bids for that. Ooh, beautiful. Uh, in at number four, or is it three? It's three. It's three. Don't worry. Uh, this is a twenty twenty upper deck. Um, again, X Men Metal, and it's a Planet Gold Magneto. Uh, so it's a numbered card. can see the two out of 15 on the front there and again it's a uh, metal card and again uh, yeah. underrated but two out of 15 from magneto 441 dollars for this that's a st that's a stunning stunning looking um planet gold card isn't it really really nice i love magneto many many other people do 
too. So again, he's a, you know, I talk about top top tier characters. He's definitely one of those, in my opinion. I think many people would uh, would also agree. Uh, but yeah, 2020 X-Men Metal, still flying, as I just said. And to go along with that, <laughs> uh, just to give you some more context, this is a uh, 2020, again, Upper Deck Marvel Metal X-Men, uh, and it's a gold bullion achievement card of Wolverine, and it's over $455. Now, let me give you more context as to how you get that achievement through Upper Deck EPAC, because that's how you get the card. So to get that achievement, you would have had to have redeemed a complete, grandiose, parallel set, 100 cards, in order to get that bullion. And uh, again, people spend a lot of money to do this, rightly or wrongly so, that's what people wanna do. And um, yeah, this is the result. But yeah, again, Com C will have a load of stuff in it is already. Uh, dropping from X-Men Metal from EPAC where people are getting rid of their stuff they don't want. So keep an eye out on there, guys, if you're if you're looking for anything in particular. Uh, also Facebook groups, there's lots of action there. Still happening. Instagram too. Um, but yeah, awesome. Beautiful looking cards. Um, I know there could be people saying about the foiling and, you know, it could be better and things like that. But, uh, you know, I, I, the concept itself, I really, really like personally, I think. You know, the this isn't the best gold uh, balloon card. There are some nicer looking ones in terms of their characters and the way they look on the card. But uh, just wanted to show you in terms of uh, the top 10 this week. So, yeah, awesome to see. In a number one, <laughs> I had to talk about it. I did, um, I did do a post today. Um, this is a red PMG from the 2013 original you know, first Marvel PMG set. Red numbered out of a 100 for Spider-Man. Again, a couple of um, things to note. So it sold for $6,699, 48 bids. Again, I don't know if that's confirmed yet. From what I can see, it is. But as always, <laughs> you can never tell with these things until it's, uh, yeah, you actually find out. Um, so... Let's have a look at the back of the card, first of all, because I know a lot of people are like, no way am I paying that much for this quality of card. I mean, I have to agree. If I'm spending, and this is just me, guys, if I'm spending six thousand, like 7K on a bit of cardboard, and again, you can say what you like, but it is a bit of cardboard, I want to know that it's in great condition, I don't know, in some form of protection, and I get it that, you know, you need to take it out of a one touch or whatever, or a sleeve. Or, but I don't know, man. I, if I'm spending 7K, I want to be looking at the card in hand. I, I just, personally, I couldn't look at an eBay listing and go, yeah, I'll, all right. There's some big dog people getting these cards, like no doubt about it, that don't even need to worry about that kind of thing. But nevertheless, <laughs> blows my mind. <laughs> I'm a different breed, though, so you've got to remember, I am very tight. <laughs> uh, uh, budget <laughs> is uh, is what comes to my mind, but nevertheless, yeah, the the quality of the back not great at all. If you're grading that, you're not getting you're not getting a high grade. Like you're talking, in my opinion, the front looks okay. You know, it, you know, it looks okay. Again, it's really hard to tell, but it's not getting a high grade. It's I, I doubt it would get over a seven personally. Maybe maybe just a seven. Um, but yeah, very important card. The collectible country, county lists this card. A few key keywords missing, and uh, yeah, so <laughs> Fleer Retro, uh, Retro being one of the words Fleer's in there. Um, what was the other one? There was another keyword that was missing, but either way, awesome looking card, and um, <laughs> and there's been a bit of you know, conversation about is it an awesome looking card or not? Because many people are saying it's boring. Uh, you know, it's red against, you know, black and red and <laughs> it's quite dull. I, I think I like it. I like it. I think it's a very, very important card. But yeah, uh, when you look at a blue and a green, you th I do think, wow, some of the reds are a bit 
disappointing in terms of the way they look but um so yeah i have to agree with many of many of you <laughs> on this point but yeah i thought i'd bring that to your attention if you haven't already seen this um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this episode please do like subscribe all that good stuff down below i appreciate you guys um thank you for the feedback uh comments instagram messages i really appreciate it i really do uh, i do this in my own time so <laughs> Yeah, I'd appreciate it if you like this uh, video and um, I'm going to keep doing this and bringing you value, hopefully. So all the best. See you in the next one.